Okay, what's up guys? Welcome to my beginner series or maybe even a tutorial for returning players. You can use this video series how you like, but I think that can help a lot of people. Um, some new to the game, some returning players. So this is what you will see after you started your initial download and it takes you to the starting area. First of all, I'm just going to talk about um, what this game is really about. So essentially it is a game where you build a six person team with your favorite One Piece characters or with uh, characters that fit together however you want to play this game. And there are different things that you have to keep in mind when building these teams and then there's content, so there's like treasure map, there's Kizuna, there are different events and yeah, I will talk about all of this. But yeah, this is the screen where you will start, where everyone starts. Your pirate level one, no name yet, strawhead pirates and that's all about it. So let's get into it. I will uh, upload the series once in a while. I'm not gonna play this account frequently, but yeah, let's see uh, where this free to play journey can take us. So as you can see here, when you're doing a quest in this game, you always get recommended a friend captain or you can take a friend captain that you like. At the beginning you just can take this one here, so just take it for now, don't worry about it. And yeah, this is your initial team that you have, only three units. You see these slots here, you have six slots total, so five for your team and one for the friend captain. And yeah, that's how all the teams look like. Um, and in the top left corner you can also see a ship. Ships have different abilities and yeah, I will talk about that later as well. So for now let's just get into this here. You can watch the story if you like, because it's actually really well made. You have all the story islands till yeah, almost every arc that is out in the enemy. So. If you enjoy the story and you want to rewatch it, just watch these sequences. It's very much fun. So yeah, here the game starts and it takes you into this tutorial and it will explain to you the basics of the game. So like it says, your units are in the back, the opposing units are at the right side and it shows you how to play this game actually. So you can press on Luffy here and then you need to press on another character when when it's ready, when the uh, circles in the mid of the screen overlap with each other. So yeah, you always have to try to hit it perfectly and then you deal more damage and yeah, have additional effects. So yeah, here the chain system is explained. So if you manage to hit a grade and then another grade and another grade, your multiplier will go up and you will do more damage as you go on. Okay, so here's a sample play that the game shows you. So if you do it perfect, you do more damage. And here it shows you what happens if you miss tabbing, then it's a miss. And then the chain immediately stops and your damage will drop down and you have to start the chain anew. <laughs> yeah, here it's again explained. You see the red circle in the middle. That's the area that you have to hit to hit the perfect. If you hit in the blue area, it's just a great. And if you hit out of that, it's just a good. So now it lets you try it for yourself. It's not even easy at the start because if you're a more experienced player and you have gotten to a later stage of the game, you almost always use ships or abilities that makes hitting perfect easier, but you don't have this at the start, so yeah, there's no help. Okay, so let's go on here. I will not uh, read everything out in this tutorial that it's there, because it just doesn't make any sense. I will explain all of that later when it's really relevant. So yeah, if you defeat units, they drop posters sometimes, so you can recruit them. So in this game, there are free to play characters, there are recruitable characters, and yeah, 
there are also special characters that you can only get from certain events okay let's go on yeah our hp is gone down now this is a recovery slot that means if you have the slot you have to hit a great or a good you cannot hit a perfect and then you will heal for a certain amount so here it didn't work because the sample play just showed the perfect so yeah it says meat flew away so you couldn't heal so let's go on dealing damage here try to embarrass myself here see it's not even easy i play this game almost every day and I still can't manage to hit all perfects here in the tutorial Okay, like this, see, I hit the grade on purpose and now I healed. Okay. Let's just finish him off now. Clear. So this was the first quest that you have to do. As you see, this was the poster that dropped. You will get this character now. It is in your box and you can use it to power up your team. Also, you see we are not pirate level 1 anymore. We are now pirate level 2 and we got one rainbow gem on the top right corner. The rainbow gems in this game are the currency that you can use to pull for more characters for your team. So you are free to decide if you want to play this game completely free to play which is very possible at the moment or if you just if you want to use the shop and purchase some gems from time to time all playing styles are available so yeah that's how it works for example if you want to pull for 10 units normally it costs like 50 gems and those units cannot be farmed they will only be in the tavern that you see on the bottom of the screen okay now it uh, tells us to go into the second quest we again choose Ben Beckman we cannot pick anything else here really it's still the tutorial skip the story again <clears throat> okay now we have to go for basics number four that is using special so for the purpose of this video or for the purpose of your tutorial it gives you a fully charged special and it shows you what it does later in the game if you don't want to watch these special animations every time you can just click on the screen and then they go away so yeah if you've seen a special animation like 50 times you are <laughs> fed of it and yeah you just don't watch it anymore so in the future you will just skip them anyway now this is the final boss of the stage if the game lets me skip it yeah it lets me skip it okay i will just attack here once just because i know how this tutorial works we will get the shank special ready now and yeah it's very strong here in this tutorial this is not a good character in the actual game because he's very very old but yeah for the sake of the tutorial it works and it just shows you that there are specials that can instantly defeat enemies and yeah we get another rainbow gem and obviously like with other gacha games at the beginning of the game you will get rainbow gems for absolutely everything but that is definitely not the case later so be very cautious what you want to pull for and what to, what you want to use these gems for. So now you can see this overview here. You can see edit crew, sell, evolve, power up, character list, limit break and effects. The game now tells us to power up. That means we can level our units. If you level your unit, it will get stronger. So press on the level up button. And for now, just use uh, the materials that the game gives to you. You cannot do anything else anyway. So Luffy is max now. And now certain units, when they reach max level, they can be evolved. So press the evolve button. 
and press on Luffy and then evolve your character. And there he is. The Luffy from the beginning of the adventure from the anime that we know. At the beginning here the game gives you a free legend. Legends in this game are the best units. There are I think about 130 legends in One Piece Global at the moment. So yeah, I don't think you can get all of them here at the start, but yeah. I will not re-roll or anything, this is just a beginner account, a free to play account just to show you how the game works and then maybe play it a bit more in the future so I will just take what I get and yeah that's totally fine I don't care. So you see the poster is red and that is the highest rarity you can get. Yeah this is a Zoro character he's not really used at the moment but for a beginner's account he is totally fine. And now uh, when we are here on the screen I will explain everything to you that you can see here. Um, Look at the top left, Slasher and Driven, that are the classes of the character. Every character has different classes, most of them have two, some of them have one, but they can't have more than two. And yeah, he is a Slasher and the Driven character. Below that you can see the favorite button. Favorite means you can favorite the unit, which I will do right now, just press on it. And that is very important so that you don't accidentally sell them. So yeah, don't forget, always favor up your units. Okay, um, below that, yeah, the collection number, the name and the picture. And yeah, then you can see there's a special and a captain ability. Your crew always has one captain and the captain ability will be used for the crew. So for example, this Zoro boosts slasher character's attack by 3.25, HP by 1.5, yeah, and makes their slots beneficial. That's not that important right now, but just, just so you know, if you use this character as your captain, you should also try to have only slashers in your crew because they are the only class that benefits from his ability. Otherwise, it will be bad. So that's how captain effects work essentially and for his special ability you can see that he deals damage he has also something to do with slots which is not that important right now but he doubles slasher characters attack for one turn so there are many 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 special abilities in this game and it's very very complex so don't worry about it if you don't understand all of it from the beginning but you should always remember when you're building a team have one character in your team that makes attack boost for one turn, one for orbs, and then one for color affinity. And yeah, that is the three highest damage boosts that you can get in the game. And yeah, but it's different than in other gachas where you can build teams and just use them for every content. In this game, most of the time you're building teams exclusively for one piece of content and then you have to change them for other content so yeah, it's a very strategic game if you enjoy that kind of game it can be really really fun so yeah that's uh, the special abilities you can see the level of the special ability is only one from 23 that means that it will not be ready at the start of the fight it takes 23 turns to be ready so there are options to level up your special abilities and if you have them you should do it so that you get the level down and you don't have to wait that long for a special to be ready. Yeah. And in the right corner you can see that the unit also has a cost. The cost of this unit is 30 which means that you, when you put this unit on your team and it is not evolved it costs 30 because it's a legend. If you evolve this unit, it will cost 55 because that is the cost of uh, evolved legend character. Okay, good. Just press on it. Okay, now the game tells you to put this character in your crew. Obviously because he's way better than everyone you have right now. Pick the Zoro. 
Okay, now it explains to you captain abilities and some other things, but then again, I'm not going over all of this right now. We will see that while we go on playing. Okay, let's just call this account free to play journey for now. Okay, that's too long, no problem. We are smart. <laughs> okay. Skip this. Exactly, and now it will load the rest of the game and when we're done with it, I'll be back with you and yeah, then we'll go on with the next part of the series.